Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode 18. Man, oh man, have I had some bad luck with this race. Seti Mana International. We're on stage 4 out of 5. Last time, I was the leader. Mid-stage, had a crash with a bunch of other riders, but I was the only one on my team that was involved in that crash. So nobody from the team came back to support me. I was many minutes behind, and I had to solo make my way through the field I, I most of the way had to time trial my way through the field I got all the way back to finish in 10th place from you know 140 riders back made massive progress to do that but ultimately only made it back to 10th well one of my teammates Tolman was on a plus kajillion race day condition and held on and he finished fourth place on the stage so now, not only is he the team leader, but I got stuck with teammate role. So I had to do 20k on the front. I did my 25 to get the bonus. Just finished that before we started climbing. I just about got my recovery in. But like I said, the bad luck it keeps striking. I have a minus 4 today. I can still climb. 77. Not great, but still climb. I certainly can't sprint. I'm terrible on the flat. That's why my energy was so low for for doing 25k on the front, even though I was barely moving, barely pedaling. Uh, but stamina resistance, awful. Six, uh, 55, 68. Whew. Yowzer. Uh, and then literally zero team support to try to get through the stage. So... We've already done half of the elevation that we're going to cover for the day. We only have a small amount of descending the remainder of the way, but the first of those two is about to happen. I should get my recovery on and get back to full strength as we begin. The long, slow, gentle uphill that eventually becomes a cat three before the quick descent that leads into the final climb. Asorio could climb. Can absolutely climb. Uh, but it shouldn't be a major threat. We'll see what I can do after, you know, after this and, <laughs> and the lack of this. So we'll see what we can do solo today. Uh, expectations are a little bit low, but I'm going to try to move back up the order a bit. Tolman's looking good. I'm not looking so good. Mannion's looking great. He's plus five today. Jeez, the both of them. I'm just having no luck this this race. Okay, we're going to hit flat here for quite a while before we get into the actual Cat 3. But yeah, you can see how much I'm struggling right now. This minus 4 really hurting. We're down to 64 riders. I'm seeing a big push here by some of the riders. I'm hanging in there, though. Or it's going to start breaking up. The riders are going through a very tough very steep right here. Above 10%. Okay, things yo-yoed and we end up with 43. Two slightly off the front, now 31. And I'm recovering quickly where others are not. It's one good thing about being an excellent climber. My heart rate was just not as high as theirs. Ooh, hello splits. We have 17 now in the peloton. Only 15 kilometers left. Attack! It's a Tolman got dropped. Tolman got uh, dropped. And I saw a small group just day. go right off the front there. That's not good. This was not a place for that sort of thing to happen. And Tolman's back. Uh, Haga's here, but Fortunato, Dani chasing for uh, team leaders. Haga's supposed to be. Coleman's barely hanging in there. I'm going to wait for the actual climb. Five riders got away. Uh, we're coming back the at him, though. The that could wear them out a bit. Sign. That could be good for me, considering uh, the bad for me might balance out a little bit. 9k to go. I'm going to set my 85 and climb here fairly soon. But my flat rating at the moment, just that 60. I'm struggling to keep up with these guys. But once I start climbing at my 85, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to keep up with me. And here we go. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. 19. To ride it out for the stage. 6K to go. 
You can see I'm just doing the 85, but I'm working my way up through the field here. However, and Dina Beal. Five kilometers remaining. Attack with the finishing line within reach. Down to seven. Still following that mess? I was still following that mess. I didn't think I was following anymore. I was. Eight chasing one. I gotta think about the overall. I'm not in contention for the stage. Not with this stupid race day condition. 2.7. Seven riders struggling here. Izagira, Roda, Aru, Patili, Kudus, and Vendina Beal. And I'm just about out of energy. Down to six now. Okay, just climb my pace. I'm going to get dropped, though. It's going to be a sixth place. Considering the, the teammate assignment... Considering Tolman's on a plus four and Mannion's on a plus five and they're a full minute behind me. And I get sixth on the stage. Yeah. I'll take that with that stupid minus four. I, I easily could have won this stage if I had even a zero race day condition. Maybe could have won if I had the leader roll, even with the minus four. Little team support, you know. Uh, Tolman was 16th, Manny was 15th. I'm definitely moving up the order, no doubt about that. Uh, is it high enough to get into the top five? Probably not. But the next and final stage is a time trial, so another opportunity to move up. However, it's almost prologue. It's like 14k. It's crazy short, so uh, small time gaps. I might gain, you know, 20 or 30 seconds on other riders, but I'm not going to gain significant chunks of time and I actually lost a little bit on the line I end up at 55 down but big gaps behind so up to sixth okay up to sixth <laughs> and it's Tolman oh that's funny Tolman remains in fifth he's the only one who's in range I'm not catching those top four so to get into the top five I have to beat my teammate who's been acing the race day condition draw every day uh, where I've been having bad luck every day so is tomorrow going to be a better day? Let's hope. Either way, comfortable top t top 10 because even if I get a minus 5 tomorrow, I shouldn't drop out of 6th, really. One thing I absolutely love about career mode is you get to go through 2, 3, 4 riders to trial and error and get just the right balance down for your time trials. And something short like this at 14.5k, it's going to be gone in a flash and it's so easy to really screw things up so i'm going to come out of the box pretty hard at a 92 to get up to speed and then i'm going to back off to we'll say 87 and see how that does tempo wise uh, in terms of energy consumption you can see i'm pretty dang close on what we need to get towards the end and, and push and keep a full effort but i'm definitely draining red bar a bit faster than uh, the ground i have to cover so we're gonna have to back off to 86 and I think that's going to get us back towards neutral as we go on. But getting up to speed quickly, I think, was really, really important on this one. Into the lead. We're going to have to go 85, though, for a little bit. That means we are slowing down. Four-second advantage at that first time check. And there's only a few riders to go after me. So uh, back to an 86. You can see we're catching up to uh, Madrazo. I do end up with the plus one today. So after all the drama that I have had... I'm able to push today better than I have on the other days. And I've got a real shot at this thing. Coming up on the line. Okay, back to that 86. And Max effort to cross yes, the line. The and there's the lead. Time, Still four seconds effort. ahead, so I keep the advantage. Uh, my teammate, Haga, in fourth. Huge gap to uh, Tolman. Tolman just now crossing the line. But Tolman was sixth. He started right after me. That was 14 seconds down. That was it, huh? Uh, Van Dinebiel. So that's three of us in the top six. Van Dinebiel still to go. He is a minute and a half down. Wow, I did not expect to gain that kind of time. Uh, Aru, a minute six down. And Izagira, remember, I was like two minutes down overall. 
in order to pass my teammate. Is 14 seconds enough to get ahead of him? I think it was. Get a stage win. That's that's cool. Mizugiro is 40 seconds down overall. Whew, okay. Okay. The overall is still sixth. Tolman, four seconds ahead. I didn't even move into the top five. I win the stage. That was what I was worried about. Tolman was the only one that I could potentially beat. And he had a great finish on the stage. And I gained a bunch of time. I thought I was only like six or eight seconds behind him, not 20 down, but apparently I was about 20 down. You know, memory, fickle, eh. Great team result though. I mean, first, third, sixth, fifth, sixth, it's good for the team. And Dina Beal takes the under 25s. I should have won that, but that's okay. That's okay happens we had so much bad luck with that race and we still come away with at least a stage victory i get 56 points for that all right so we're at the gp miguel in Durain, and we have a nine rider break <laughs> tolman this time the one who goes down in a crash he was supposed to be a sport rider for me but with him out suddenly everybody's supporting me which is odd because i thought chad hago was the one that uh, was the other leader but anyway uh, minus one race day conditions, so not a great draw, but really not affecting me. I have a minus one to my downhill. Uh, that's the only impact. I actually have a plus one to my climbing, so uh, not a big deal. Breakaway had almost seven minutes, but it's already down to three. Gavin Mannion is in that break. He's on a plus five race day condition. He's looking excellent, but that group has just split. They've attacked off, or he attacked off. He's actually at the front, having left all or some of those riders behind. He's down to a group of four. No? What's going on here? Uh, I'm going backwards, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> Let's bring it on down, start focusing on the race. Saved a lot of energy on that uphill, but I definitely dropped back within the group during the that the sequence. Going some 85 will allow me to get back up there the quickly. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. Peloton already down to 76. Front riders aren't that far ahead. Now I gotta get back up into position. Janish, gone. Barbosa, gone. Uh, Tolman made it back up to the group, but it took everything he had, so he's gonna be gone soon. We've got Richitello, Hega, Mannion still off the front in a group of nine. There's two that uh, I think attacked at the base of the climb solo. And I'm just slowly making my way back up biggest climb is the next one but we finish on a climb we've got a shot it's just a classic maybe do something with this today there we go okay back in position Stella for support Hega Hega needs to get up here I've got control of everybody I want him in position and then Tolman just because of energy that remains for him is going to support Hega All right, seeing that big push, I have to speed up a little bit here. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have nearly to the top. Now the guys up front are asking serious questions of the riders in the rear as more of them You can see the others struggle struggled through that. Uh, I did a lot better than they did. Hega is now going to have to ride for me as Richitello and Tolman are both gone. It's down to 44, chasing 9, 54 chasing 9 now. Still a minute and a half and Mannion's still up there. He doesn't have much left, though. But, you know, looking at me, I'm feeling it a bit. But you can see how quickly I'm recovering again as coming off a climb. I'm always in better shape off of a climb than others. Whoa, big acceleration through there. I do slip back down the order a little bit. But we'll recover that position. Got a bit of a flat section. I'm going to gap to the breakaway. Quick descent and then fairly flat until we begin I want to say the penultimate climb and then you just kind of have a little saddle section the pack is slowly whittling away the lead the pace is really hot so for the moment we shouldn't see too many attacks we've got 15 right. kilometers to the finish go, line. where are you it looks like the pack has bitten the dust collectively but the riders would seem to be okay to carry on 
The riders are in a portion above 10%. All right. I like my chances of something today. Pidcock. Jeez. Oh, Pidcock, Bilbao, Haig, Yates. Take it easy, speed racer. Don't be overly confident about a day like this. That's some good riders. Mannion and the rest of the break has been caught. Oh, Haig is done. Shoot. I was like, why isn't he progressing? Because he ran out of energy. And Mannion's out of energy. And now as we go over the top here, I'm okay, but I'm, I'm back down the order a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here's the other part of the saddle. Okay, we're seeing some of the guys making a big push. Alejandro Valverde has fallen. And we've split off. Eight of us chasing one at the front. Now it's six of us chasing three at the front. We've got Yates, Haig, Quintana, Kelderman, and Jan Polank. Bernal. Pargil. Adria, what the? I was sitting on maintained position, but okay, sure. Sure, I was attacking. 3.4k, I got a top 10 here. But what can we do with it? Team Expectation was a top 15, by the way. Okay, go the climb at my pace for now. Ah, it's back together. 1.8k. 1.5k. I think some of these guys are going a little too hard out of the box, or am I just that weak on stamina? 700 meters. I feel like I've read this thing just about right. Coming up on the line. In this fact, I have to back off, so yeah, I did not go too hard. But, there's your top 10. I'm now 11th. I've got to beat Bernal and hold off Barcelo and Jan Hurt. And I'm not looking too likely to do really that at the moment. Adria for the win. Ahead of Yates. That's Adam Yates. Haig. Quintana Bergil. Uman. Pollan. Kelderman. I'm going to just miss the top 10, but I do get my top 15. 13th on the stage. Yeah, had some wasted energy there. I thought I clicked maintain and was on relay. Uh, that that certainly burnt a amount of energy. It, it wasn't a lot, but it burnt some. And uh, at this point, that was probably the difference between 11th and 13th. I'd say right there at the end, I would have been at the front of that group, uh, not in the midst of that group. Bernal maybe could catch, probably not. Uh, but Barcelo nearly copper and all. I mean, he was about a bike length and a quarter behind at the finish line. So I probably would have been a half bike length behind. That's my estimation. But, you know, you never know. What ifs? The top 15, I got it. So we pick up 15 points and we inch closer, just 33 away from our next level. I'm not sure the next level comes with attributes, though. It might be skill point only. We just started April. I've got 166 points so far on the season, which is only good enough for 88th overall. But it's not like that's terrible position to be in. Looking around me, I've got Vlasov, Jungles, Trentin, Viviani, Bilbao. There's plenty of quality riders around me in the standing. Not a bad place to be. And actually, it's, uh, it's already more than I scored all of last season. I might have had 12 victories, but remember the majority of that uh, was youth races, which didn't count for points. And then, you know, the one or two Conti ones were low-level continental races. I already picked up a stage win in the Serimana uh, International. So, you know, there was a decent amount of points hauled in from that. 13th here on this race, while part of you goes... Gosh, we could have done more. Minus one race day condition. Didn't have teammates much around to, to provide, you know, much quality support. Uh, and I was in position, but I'm still somebody who has low stamina, 
low resistance. I'm still a level or two away. The resistance is getting better, and and we're seeing the result. You know, I'm hanging in there with with world tour guys, but I'm not quite beating the elite climbers just yet. But I'm leaving everybody else in the dust, and so that's that's a big step. We're getting there. We're getting close. Uh, we're we're still a couple levels away from truly being able to suddenly you know compete and be in the top 10 overall in the super prestige and and boost this team right on up into world tour contention but it's still a good start it's a good start uh to our now continental pro career all in all no complaints it's okay i'm a Catholic gamer like comment subscribe see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now